Y'all, child, <laughs> Nina almost burnt the damn house down. <laughs> almost burnt the damn house down. Ain't that crazy? So I'm sitting here making me some food, right? Hold on. Let me wash my hands again. So, I'm up here making food, right? I made me this pasta with some chicken uh, sausage. And I try to make my homemade garlic bread, right? And my little, Nina's little helper came through and we was doing the window treatments, right? And um, we end up going upstairs. Next thing you know, I'm like, oh shit, I forgot I got the bread downstairs. And I smelt it, but I didn't think it was going to be burning like that. Child, I had it on bro. Girl, y'all, it was a mess. Nina almost burnt the goddamn house down. <laughs> I can't have that happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't be doing that. But while I got y'all here, um, I'm definitely about to make this uh, bath bomb. Not bath bomb, this milk bath. So this is the infamous Cleopatra bath bomb, bath, milk bath, milk and honey bath to be actually um, what I'm about to make here. And I hate when my hands are wet in these gloves. I put one glove on because I can't navigate with the other one on. But my hands are clean and we're going to get right up into it. All right, so usually with the, the milk and honey um, Bath bomb. I usually use lavender. I know, right? Ain't nobody trying to start no fire. I am the fire. I can't be having all that. <laughs> but usually when I do my milk and honey bath bombs, I use lavender. But I had got a special request to do roses. So I'm doing some for roses. But I have some other different flowers. Let me show y'all. I already know how to say that, so I ain't even going to try. <laughs> I can see that. That's cute. Uh, I got the red plum. And if you guys, if y'all want a bath bomb with one of these special ingredients and flowers, uh, let me know and I can do a remix for you guys. Uh, only for a limited time only. I want y'all to be right for Valentine's Day. This is Don't Forget Me Flower. That's cute. Um, I see a jasmine in here. This is really cute too. Jasmine is really good. Here's a Liddy. That's cute. I like the color. And then we got roses. Oh, which one I'm going to do on her? Rose petals. I don't know. I think I'm just going to do regular roses on her. So, I can't believe. So, hey, Leslie. All right. So, I'm about to get ready to do my milk and honey bomb. I already got some of my ingredients already prepped. And I got a couple of orders. So, yeah, but this almost, whew, that was a close call. Um, let me see here. Try to even out everything. That was definitely a close call. Whew, I'm going to start a fire. I can't be homeless. I got things to do. <laughs> so oh shit the blade came in here if you guys not familiar with the cleopatra milk and honey bath so this is what cleopatra used to soak her beautiful body in and she had all the men fighting over her right because cleopatra was that chick right let me put my apron on The shimmer and shade by the queen, baby. Okay, so Cleopatra was that chick, right? So she had two men fighting over her. And she was like the beautiful. Her skin was, was bam. You know, they said she didn't look that cute. But, you know, she had the men fighting over her. And I kind of figured why she had the men fighting over her. Because she had this beautiful skin. So I'm making the same recipe not the same but similar you know back then they used donkey milk i ain't using donkey milk i don't even know 
where to get donkey milk from. <laughs> but, you know, we're doing regular milk, dry milk. And I'm just going to show you guys. This is what it looks like. It's a pink tint to it because I use this special type of salt to go in it. And this is... And I'm going to show you what it looks like once you put it in the water. So some of you guys are not familiar with the milk bomb. I mean, milk bath. Why do you call it milk bomb? Um, the milk bath is, is a spiritual healing as well. A lot of us, we need to sit down and soak. We've just been taking showers and, you know, showers is cool. But sometimes we just need to sit our ass in the tub and soak. <laughs> and just stink and, you know, de-stress. And this is what it does. The lavender distresses you. Um, lavender has a lot of uh, properties and that's really good for you guys. And lavender is a common, a common plant. So definitely want to throw some lavender in there. But I'm going to show you what the milk bath does. And if you're looking to do a little milk bath for a photo shoot, I definitely got you. So I'm going to show you what it looks like once you put it in the milk. You see how it's turning colors? I don't want to dip my... This is what a milk bath puts do. Look. So your water should be like this when you hop in. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. And everything dissolves too. Okay. I stirred it up a little bit. And look. Do not drink it. It's going to be salty as hell. <laughs> Do not drink it, but this is what a milk bath looks like. I have it on my website for $12.99. It's originally $14.99. Um, I want to get you guys ready for Valentine's Day. You know, you and your hubby or boo thing could be up in the water with our milk bath, kicking it. And it comes in an eight-ounce jar like this. So you use it as much as you want. Um, typically, you use half a jar for one bath, um, or you use a whole jar for one bath. Depends on how you want to do it. So this is the one that I'm doing separate because she don't want lavender. She's allergic to lavender. I'm going to do some roses for her. All right. Well, this is pretty. You know, roses, I'm all about to natural healing and things like that. So, by the end of 2020, I definitely want to get my certification in holistic healing. I think it's important. These doctors be pushing all types of stuff on us and getting us hooked up on their drugs when we could just eat from the earth and heal from the earth. I love healing from the earth. Hey, Cherie, how are you? Hey, Larry. Okay. This is really cute. She gonna like this one. I'm gonna show y'all. It's really cute. But I'm about to dump it in here. Ooh. So how's y'all Tuesday? I can't believe it's Tuesday. You know what I really can't believe? Hey, Miss Valerie. I can't really believe that it's, it's February already. Let me tell y'all about being an entrepreneur while we talking, right? I did like my financials for January and I was about to go apply for a job. I said, oh no, baby. And I really felt it. Y'all, those who are in the entrepreneurs, I don't want to discourage nobody, but upcoming entrepreneurs, this life ain't easy, baby. Some days you be like, okay, I'm about to go look for a job. I'm about to go sell some crack. <laughs> I'm about to go be a stripper. Like, you, your life becomes in front of your, front of your eyes because you're trying to figure out how you're going to pay bills and all this other stuff. And you got to get products. And ooh. when I tell you entrepreneur life is not easy, it's not for the week, I tell you that. I had these conversations with my friends all the time. So it's definitely not for the week. You have to be level-headed, have a team, manifest that, you know, the next month is going to be better. And I truly believe... February is going to be better. I ain't going to have a 
uh, another month like I had in January because that shit was hard. Ooh, look at that. And it smells so yummy. This is the rosy, ro rosy. This is the rose um, milk bomb. And that's the wrong lid. <laughs> I was wondering why that was looking like that. <laughs> So y'all gonna hit support your girl. Ooh, look at that. Mm, mm. It's definitely it's definitely not easy, but sis, it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. Sometimes I be looking like it is it worth it? You know, ain't nobody trying to be evicted out, you know, foreclosure, bankrupt, and all that other stuff. Anybody got time for that? <laughs> but it's definitely not easy. It's definitely. And people be like, oh, you know, you're just doing so well. You don't never complain online. Like, ain't no point complaining. I could give y'all a, a sad story. But is that going to help my sales? Maybe, maybe not. Y'all may feel sad for me wanting to buy something. But at the end of the day, like, I just know what I need to do. And just stay afloat and stay the course. All right, so this is my original, the original uh, milk bath that I'm making with the lavender. I don't think my mama know we got lavender in it. She may have, mm, she probably going to curse me out because she don't like lavender. But that's what she ordered and that's what she going to get. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah. Also, I want to, I don't even know y'all know that, you know, Y'all can sign up to be a resort cutie and get $10 off your first order. But y'all got to spend like $35. I forgot the bracket. Yeah, $35 or more. So, y'all go on my website and help a sister out, y'all. I know it's late night. I was supposed to do this early. But, they handle it business. Get my life together. Get these orders together for tomorrow for the mail lady. Because I'm pick them up. And I am out of here. Uh, let's see what's the time I got. Oh, perfect. Right on time. So I can post on Instagram and on YouTube. So y'all go ahead and support. I ain't even going to be long. Support your girl. Go to Um, uh, We got some Valentine's specials. It's about to roll out for some shimmer and some milk bombs, some lingerie. It's about to go down. So I'll talk to y'all on the gram or on Facebook. Bye, y'all. Bye.